Hello everyone, welcome to day 7th of May Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Anjan Rudeja, I am working as software developer for at Adobe and today I present day 676 of daily lead code problem. The question that we have in today is 132 pattern. Here in this question we are given an array of integers and we need to identify whether a subsequence of 3 integers exists in this array such that the pattern that gets formed is of type 132. If it does exist, then we need to return true, otherwise we need to return false. I'll be walking you through these examples as well as the definition of this pattern by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Lead code 456, 132 pattern. It's a medium level question on lead code and I also feel the same. Also, in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are mentioned in the description so do check them out now let's get started with understanding the question what does the question mean by 132 pattern so by 132 what we are actually looking for if we plot these elements on a graph of paper on a 2d plane what kind of structure will it be formed so we'll have one over here we'll have three over here and we'll have two over here so what we are interested in, we are interested in identifying three subsequence elements such that this kind of structure gets formed. So if you carefully observe here, then this element is least of the three elements and this element is in the middle. This element has a topmost weightage is acting as a peak of the entire three elements. So we are looking for three elements such that this graphical structure gets formed. Now let's take a hypothetical scenario wherein these elements are given to you a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6 and a7. Let's consider a case where a4 is acting as the peak of the entire array. That means it has the highest value across the entire array. Now comes a concern. What will you consider towards the left of a4 and towards the right of a4? So let's talk for each direction one by one. Let's talk about the right of a4. When you are looking at the rightmost elements of A4, what will you, what property will you look out for? You will look out for the maximum element after A4. So whatever element exists across A5, A6, A7, you will try to maximize those elements. You will find out the maximum one that exists across these three elements, A5, A6 and A7. Once you have identified the maximum element after A4 towards the right of A4, across these three elements let's ma name it as max second max because the first max was a4 let's call it second max now let's move it towards the left direction of a4 across these three elements a1 a2 and a3 what will you do over these three elements you will try and look out for the minimum one towards the left of the a4 so you'll search for the minimum one towards the left of a4 once you have identified the lower value, the least value. In order to identify whether 132 pattern does exist, the rule is simple. The least value should be less than the max, the second max value that you have identified. If this condition is met, your work is done. Your least value on the right side of A4 should be less than the max value towards the left side of a4 if you are able to identify this equation then your work is done you are able to identify the 132 pattern and you will return true in those cases however in case your least value towards the right of a4 is greater in value than the second max value that you have identified over here then you will have to return false because this graphical structure will not be formed. So let's take both these examples one by one. Let's take numbers as 7, 6, 5, 9, 1, 2 and 3. What is the maximum value across this entire array? The maximum value is this one. This will act as our A4. What we are interested in, we are interested in finding the second max value towards the right of A4. The second max value here would be 3 and the least value towards the left of 9 is 5. So the least value is 5, the second max value is 3. When we do the comparison, you will see that the least value happens to be greater in value than 3 
as a result of which you will have to return false in those cases let's also talk about a happy case let's assume the input array is something like this 5 7 4 9 8 7 3 so let's hypothetically assume this is the input array that is given to us the maximum value here is 9 and what you look out for you look out for the second max value towards the right of it so the second max value over here uh, out of 8 7 and 3 turns out to be 8 the least value towards the left of 9 is 4 so the least value is 4 when you do the comparison you can see that 4 is lower than 8 which satisfies the case as a result of which we are able to identify 132 pattern so what are those three numbers the first one is 4 the second one is 9 and the third one is 8 so if you plot 4 9 and 8 on a sheet of paper what kind of graphical structure is getting formed something like this i hope both these examples are clear to you now comes the question what is the algorithm to go about it for solving this question we will be using monotonic stacks to actually arrive at the solution and uh, if if you are not aware of monotonic stacks i am attaching the playlist in the description below go and check out the daily temperature question it will give you a very good idea how monotonic stacks in general operate now let's proceed ahead understanding the monotonic stack over an test case iteration so let's consider a different example slightly longer so that you get a good hold of concept the elements are 9 4 2 8 3 1 2 what i'm going to do i'll definitely create a variable named second max let's represent it with sm and let's initialize it to minus infinity and by minus infinity the least possible number of integer data type and what i'm going to do as i told it's a stack based question so definitely i'm going to create a stack i'll simply iterate from the rightmost terminal to the leftmost terminal and let's start the iteration the first element that we that i see happens to be 2 the stack is right now empty there is no element added onto the stack so what we are going to do we'll simply go ahead and add 2 to it let's proceed ahead next we see is 1 so when you see 1 what you will do you will compare this value one value with the topmost element of the stack the topmost element of the stack is greater in nature than 1 so in those cases you will simply go ahead and add 1 to the stack let's proceed ahead next we see is 3 so at 3 what do you see what is the topmost element of the stack the topmost element of the stack happens to be 1 since 3 is greater in value than 1 what you are going to do you simply pop this element out so this element is gone along with this you will compare it with the second max value so consider 3 is getting treated as the maximum element and you have to look out for the second max value across this complete sub array so uh, you'll compare this sm value with 1 which one is greater out of 1 and minus infinity one is greater so this gets replaced by 1 let's proceed ahead uh, again what is the topmost element of this stack the stack is still not empty the topmost element of this stack happens to be 2 so again you will compare it with 3 3 is greater in value than 2 as a result of which 2 gets deleted out of this stack you will again compare this 2 with the second maximum value and as a result of which this gets replaced by 2 we have successfully identified the second maximum element across this sub array the maximum element that is getting treated is 3 and the stack has become empty as a result of which you will simply go ahead and push this element onto the stack so 3 gets added onto the stack so far so good let's proceed ahead let's move towards the left and the element that we have is 8 so at 8 let's do the same thing again uh, let's compare it with the topmost element of the stack the topmost element of the stack is 3 as you can see 8 is greater in value than 3 as a result of which this element will be deleted you will compare it with the second max variable which is 2 Two is lower than three. As a result of which, this gets re updated to three. What does this mean? This means that eight is acting as a peak, and we have to identify the second most element across this sub array three, one, and two. We have successfully done that. The SM variable, the second max variable, holds the value three, and the stack has the value eight in it. Let's proceed ahead. Next comes the most interesting case, guys. Uh, what element do we see? We see two. and at 2 what we are going to do we'll check what is the topmost element of the stack the topmost element of the stack happens to be 8 in nature as a result of which we are not going to delete this up 
along with this what you will do you will compare this element with the sm value what is the sm value the sm value happens to be 3 as a result of which you have identified the lower value towards the left of 8 and the higher value towards the left of 8 you can see that 2 is lower than 3 therefore we can say that we have identified the 132 pattern successfully the time complexity of this approach is order of n also the space complexity is again order of n to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i've just talked here so here i've created a second max variable initialized to integer dot minimum minimum and i've created a stack of type integer i start iterating from the rightmost terminal to the leftmost terminal in case my current element happens to be less than my second max value the, in those cases i simply return true this is the happy case that means that my current value is lower than my second max value uh, this is the uh, breaking condition that tells us whether the 132 pattern has been identified or not if it is not true then what do we do we check whether the stack is empty or not and if my current element is greater than the topmost element of the stack i have to pop elements out of it so I do the popping operation and I keep track of the second maximum that I have witnessed so far. If this condition is also not successful, I simply go ahead and add elements onto the stack. So all the peaks will be added over here. All the peaks will be added onto the stack. In case the true condition is not met, as a default statement, I have written return false in those cases because if this condition is not met then we can say that 132 pattern doesn't exist in my input array so let's try this up accepted pretty fine with this time complexity the time complexity in general is order of n and the space complexity is again order of n with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question, but till then, goodbye. Take care.